Hello, beautiful, wonderful, amazing souls out in the universe. Oh my goodness. I hope that you are doing well and swell because I am as always. So I just wanted to come here and do a little video about human design, how powerful human design has become. I mean, in my life, definitely. And and I find that when I go to social situations too, or just when I meet people, I'm like, you need to know your human design. It's so important. Um, there are just so many people still kind of plugging into life, seeing what what's what, how things are going, what's happening, uh, instead of being grounded in some kind of groundedness. <laughs> and that's exactly what human design and astrology does. I mean, really get to know your birth chart, really get to know your human design chart. Try it out for a little while, see what you resonate with, and then flow from there, okay? Because here's what it is. Here's what human design does. It allows you, it gives you the permission and the validation to be yourself. And my whole track here in life, my whole goal here in life, my whole everything in life here is to help people be their authentic self. Help people love their authentic self. Help people really, really and truly understand who they are and then say, that's me. That's how I am. And I'm okay with that. And then let go of what everyone on the outside is telling you. And I'm talking everybody. I'm talking parents. I'm talking religious leaders. I'm talking teachers, best friends. I mean, maybe you've been in a group of friends for a very long time. They know who you are. They know who you are and they don't want you to change. And maybe you've been in a relationship that has has extended through its course and it's time for you to ascend to the next version of who you are, though it just may be hard because that person is like, that's not you. That's not who you are. You have changed. And it's like, it's not that you've changed. It's just that you know who you are now. And there's no call to action to, oh, I, I see this part and now I'm going to do this. Or, oh, I'm this way. And so I have to change. You don't have to change. Those of you who don't have your G centers defined, okay, your G centers, your identity centers, the centers that say, I I am this. When you wake up and you feel that call to figure out who you are, take a little step back and say, you know what? I don't know who I am. I don't know exactly who I am. And that is okay. I don't need to know. And one of the main points that I wanted to get on here and say is that via human design, via energetics, via who we are as just genetic makeups of human beings souls and human bodies we're not here to think about it <laughs> i've designed some human design art pieces that are actually printable on my website and one of them says it says you are not here to think it through you're not and i know it's just such a notion because we've been so conditioned to be like hold on let me think about this and I will get back to you, which is fine. That's a great phrase. But when you get down to the actual actuality of it, you're not thinking it. You're feeling it through. Okay, so when you sit down and you say, do I want this? Listen to your body. You're not asking your brain. Your brain's there to listen and take notes and convey it to the people, but and to yourself, but you're not here to to make decisions based on what you think, okay? And I think it's just so important for you to really get your head, <laughs> to wrap your head around that. It's one of these things where you're you're training your mind and your brain to humble itself and get down here, okay? Because these are all of our centers that we're thinking of. Me, 
or that we're thinking with well feeling with let's not say thinking it's just that's how conditioned it is <laughs> i'm thinking with my heart i'm thinking with my sacral i'm thinking with my solar plexus no you're feeling with your heart your g center which g center is not even an authority so let's go down here i'm thinking or feeling with my sacral i'm feeling with my ego that's my authority is my ego could you imagine please comment raise your hand well actually comment what your authority is and through that you're going to have the affirmation of my authority my innate response my innate reaction is via my blank so it's either going to be your your uh emotional authority the solar plexus your sacral the gut feeling your ego you have your ego but I, what i was going to say is please tell me if you're an ego authority because isn't it quite the 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 notion to to be like okay, I make decisions based on my ego. <laughs> in this society, in this world, in this incarnation around, I make decisions based on literally what I want. I literally get what I want by listening to myself. When someone asks me a question and says, Melanie, do you want to do this? And my ego says, I don't feel like doing that right now. I want to do something way more magical, way more powerful. I get to answer to that. You know what? This isn't up to par to what my standards are of where I want to be. And before I would do that for sure, because I don't put myself in situations I don't want to be in, uh, especially mundane situations. I'm here to live like a pretty big life. And I do say no to a lot of things. Um, so I used to do that, but now I do it with a lot more conviction because I'm like, I listen to my soul, to myself, and to my ego. And she said no. She said no. She doesn't want it. <laughs> um, and so you can do the same. So when it comes to the sacral, in that gut feeling, do you hear, mm-hmm, or mm -mm, no way, I don't want to do that. And then think it through afterwards. Because a lot of times what we do is we hear or we feel, we feel that feeling of oh man I really don't want to do this I really don't want to do this and then the brain's like hi I'm here to help you through this okay let's talk <laughs> do I really want to do this maybe I want to do this because this person says that this and this and they are actually a very important person and I really want to make them happy and I want to make them proud so I'm gonna do this and then now all of a sudden you're going against your authority. One of the main things, one of the examples that I give in this is that when I do readings, um, yes, I do readings, definitely go to my website, melamine.com slash offerings, and you will see all of the types of readings that I do, including tarot, human design, natal charts, and business branding for entrepreneurs. Let's go. Let's get that business up. So what I say is, is the moving thing. Someone asks you to help them move on Sunday and it's, it's Thursday and you're like, oh God, no, <laughs> absolutely not. Um, no, especially if you're one of the lower energy types, projectors, manifestors, you just don't have the energy, but here you are in reflectors. Here you are saying, yes, yeah, Sunday, totally at the end of the weekend, I'm absolutely going to help you move. And you ask yourself, why am I going to help this person move? Well, they're important to me. They need my help they are, it's, it's a nice thing to do. So I should be nice. Okay. Okay. You, you can be nice. You can overextend yourself and be exhausted as you begin the next week. And then all of that energy just transforms into the next week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you're decompressing from all of the things that you said yes to when your body said, no, I don't want to do this. So now Sunday, Sunday comes and you're like, why did I agree to this? I straight up felt no in my body. I said yes to the person. And now I'm here frustrated, angry, bitter, all of the not self themes of, I, I don't like, this is how I feel now. Now I'm bitter, frustrated, angry, 
that I, I'm helping this person move. So now you're helping this person move and you're in a bad mood as well. And then all that energy transfers into the week because you said yes to something that your body straight up said no to, okay? So that's really what I just wanted to extend forth. Listen to your authority within your soul, within your body. You know what you want to do. And a lot of times we just go outward for it. I want to be nice. I don't want to be, I don't want people to think this, or I don't want my mother, my partner, my religious leader, my blah, 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 to think this way. And it's like, there's no... It, this is your life. This is your energy. Okay. Is it worth another week of being in your not self or another like few days of being in your not self just so that you can appease somebody else? Because I wonder how their energy is feeling. They're feeling great over there and you're feeling bitter, mad, angry because you said yes to something that you inherently didn't want to do. So really think about that and also think about where you can channel some unconditional self-love within yourself, uh, meaning where can I give myself grace? First of all, when I say yes to things that I do not want to do, where can I give myself grace? Are you going to plan some decompression time? I said yes to this this thing I don't want to do, but you know what? I'm going to come home. I'm going to journal. I'm going to do yoga. I'm going to meditate for a certain amount of time. I'm going to do all these things so that I can ground myself back into myself and let myself know. I know I said no to you this time, but please, please keep, keep guiding me to the things that are going to ascend me to my higher power, my highest light, my bliss, Ugh, my signature of peace of, oh my goodness, of just amazingness. Thank you, Sal, for always guiding me. And then from there, also just ask yourself, why, why don't you deserve to have a say in what you do in your life? Why don't you deserve to say no to things that don't align with you? Why don't you deserve to be conjectured in your right and in your opinion? Ask yourself that, and maybe you might get to an answer. Maybe it might be just, just kind of a hard conversation, but it's it's a step forward to your unconditional self-love journey, and I'm so excited for you. I'm writing an online course and a book right now about unconditional self-love because it's such a foundational aspect of all of us. If you cannot unconditionally love yourself, you cannot unconditionally love the universe, the people, your children, the your religious leaders, your parents, your partner, all these people that you're you're giving, 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 and they're they're taking all of this from you. You can't love them if you're not loving yourself straight up. So when you go against your authority, when you go against who you are and what you are and how you are for the betterment of the people that you so-called love. You're not doing what's best for you, okay? This is a give and take here. Give, give, give. Fill your cup to the fullest before you are able to give, okay? And I have a message for all you healers out there who are ah, deferring all of the healing and the power and the light to literally everyone else but yourself. I want you to know that you deserve to heal as well. And you actually must. You must unconditionally love yourself and be ready to just pour all of that into your clients and into your love. And also, also, you do deserve money. Okay, you do deserve to have money on this material plane as you give your offerings to the world. And I'm here to help you with that via human design, astrology, and my just amazing self. I'm very intuitive. And I feel you. I, I feel you. I know. I understand and I'm here to help. So head on over to melamine.com. Check out what I have to offer for you guys. Check out my art as well that I've created based around human design. Uh, I have them hanging on my wall. I, I made them for myself so that I can remember. Um, three. I'll, I'll read four of the quotes. One is, uh, you are not meant to think it through. 
um, in form and be, and there's these, all of these women dancing and just having a wonderful time because when I inform as a manifester, I get to, to just be, okay. I get to be and feel my most power and through my power is community. I'm building a community of wonderful, wonderful people who are thriving and being and they're healers and they're, they're, they're everything. They're all kinds of different, wonderful souls. And as long as I'm informing, I'm in my power. Okay. I can't, informing is hard for me. That's why I have to put it on the wall. Um, and then dare to disappoint. We're done walking on eggshells. We're done lowering any kind of um, energy in order to make people feel better about themselves. I'm a whole goddess. I'm a whole queen. I'm a whole embodiment of love in this incarnation. And I'll be damned if I spend another minute acting like I'm not, okay? Or being like, oh, just gonna be over here I know who I am you guys just go ahead no 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 no. you're gonna know I'm very powerful okay and I will step into that dare to disappoint and I, I push that towards you too dare to disappoint the people around you be who you are be 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 inform and be <laughs> I love that um and then and then the world is my family and the universe is my home. Now that one's not so much um, human design, but if you are in a situation, possibly you're a six, two, or even a three, you have a three in your profile, been through a lot of hardships, things like that. The world, actually even a four, two, having a lot of network, all of us, all of us, it's all of us. <laughs> Our family, yes, we have immediate family, but the world is our family. Everyone, all the people that we meet at the grocery store, the people that we meet out there uh, in the world, anywhere in the world, that's your family. And the universe here, this earth is our home. This earth is home. There's no, you don't need to, you don't need to embody a home that has four walls and blah, 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 all these. There's no homeless, okay? This whole universe is our home and the world, every, everyone in the world is our family. It's not just so beautiful. <laughs> Print it, hang it on your wall. Let it be a reminder because this world can seem lonely, but at the end of the day, like well, there, there, there are so many people out there for you. So many. And when it comes to human design, our gates and channels that are initiated and just, um, what do we say? Just empowered by other people. Wow. Just so important. Uh, reflect. This is for everyone, but especially reflectors, projectors, manifestors. Go be around people. Let them ignite your creativity within you. Let them ignite those gates and channels that are going to get you to your super creative self and most empowered self. Okay. I could talk forever, but that's it for today. Again, I'm Melanie of Melamine. There's so much for you to discover on my website. I do coaching. I do readings. I do events in Orange County if you're in California. And thank you for being here. Please comment your authority and let's get going in this life. Okay, you are so ready to have everything that is yours and it begins with listening to your soul, listening to your body, listening to what you feel within your soul. Okay. And you can do it. You got this. Okay. Yay. Have the best week ever. And oh, get outside, go outside in nature. Ah, oh, she's calling. Even if it's cold outside, put on a little jacket, go look at the leaves, the stars, the moon, the beach, all of the different things. I'm gonna go, oh, oh, have a wonderful day and week, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, bye.